Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint the Cellar Star Ballista for the Stormcast Eternals. So the first colour that we're going to use is Vallejo Black. Any black will do for this. And it's just to do most of the main parts of the body. Now it's a very basic paint job to do. There's not really that many colours to use on it, but you can get it looking great with even a small number of paints on it. So you're mainly going to be using black, Citadel Lead Belcher and Retributor Armour for the base colours. Then you're just going to be shading them and then bringing the colour back again. As I say, it's a very, very limited palette, this one, so it's ideal to paint up dead quick. We'll come back once all this black's done. Next up, we're going to be using Citadel Lead Belcher. Now, there aren't that many parts that you can do in Lead Belcher. You've got these little areas at the back here. A couple of little areas where there's some kind of runes or what have you. And then the barrels of the blister itself. Other than that, there's not really too much to paint up with the lead belcher. It has been undercoated with Citadel Retributor Armor Spray. So I'm just using that as the base for the gold. So there is one other colour that we're going to use, and that is Citadel Word Bearers Red. That's just to do the handles at the back here. Now there will be another video for one of the crewmen, hopefully coming either this coming Sunday or maybe next Wednesday, depends on whether I get time to finish it. The other crewmen will be painted up for a blog post, so once they're all up and on site, I'll get them linked in below. Once you've got the word bearers red done, move on to the next colour. Next up, we're going to start shading. We're going to use Citadel Agraxair Shade. And you're just going to use this on all of the gold. The great thing about this model is there's plenty of details on it. Like this front part here with the lion's face on is superb. So you can get a nice bit of shading and highlighting going on on that. And even down to the feet and the decorative parts on the kind of knees of its legs as it were you can get some nice shading and highlighting going on on them as well I've got a really quick layer here we're just going to use a little bit of Citadel Drucci Violet to shade those red parts at the back, the handles there's not a whole lot of detail on these handles you can see where it's meant to be but I'm not too sure whether it's come out badly or it's just not come out too detailed but you can get that shaded and then painted up nicely so it looks cool. Now we're going to use Citadel Null Oil to shade all the silvery metallics. So as I say, it's a very limited palette this. The shades that we've used now, this is the final shade that we're going to use on the whole thing. We're going to start reapplying the colours. You're going to have like three layers of colour or thereabouts on each section and that's about it so it is a really really simple way to paint it up but it does get good results and it'll look great on the tabletop now that we've got it all shaded we're going to start with the colours again let's start with Citadel Retributor Armour start reapplying the gold and the main thing is you're going to be reapplying the Retributor Armour to all of the gold areas, just making sure that you don't go into all the recesses so that you're leaving the Agraxair shade showing up there. You can see once you start putting the colour back onto this, it does look really, really cool, this lion's head at the front. Now we're going to highlight all the gold with Citadel Liberator Gold. I do find this a really nice colour to highlight the gold. You've seen me use it on, if you watch any other videos, you've seen me use it on anything that I'm doing gold on really. But it does set it off, it does give it a nice lighter gold colour as though it is catching the light. So when you're applying this you want to be thinking about where the light would kind of catch it and how it would be shaped on the, the golden areas. A 
that layer finished, we're going to mix a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome in with the Liberator Gold. We're going to do one final highlight on all the gold areas. This is mainly to do some of the edges and the areas where you think it's going to catch that extra little bit of light to give it a good shine. When we come back, we'll move on to the next layer. Next up, we're going to be using Citadel Lead Belcher. It's going to reapply the colour to all the silvery metal areas. You do you want to be trying to leave some of the null oil around the barrels there? Also, on some of the other areas, you're not putting quite as much Lead Belcher back on as you would do when you're putting the Retributor armour on, because I do want it to be a little bit more dulled down. So again, think about the areas where it would probably catch more light around the edges, so you're doing slightly thicker areas of lead belcher. Now we're going to highlight the lead belcher areas with Vallejo Model Air Chrome. It's mainly going to be an edge highlight, so where you're doing the front of the barrels here, you want to be doing the top of each barrel and the bottom of the inside of the barrel. And you're just going to be going for all the edges and all the corners and also the underside of some of the runes just so it looks like the bottom edges of them are catching the light now we're going to start working on the black so using Vallejo black again we're just going to go over all the areas where you might have spilled over with a different colour. So you might have a little bit of lead belcher, gold or red on there. You're just going to touch that up so you've got a nice smooth black finish to all the areas that you want black. You can see already how well that's coming along. There's not really that many colours on it at the minute, but it is looking good. So a few more colours, we'll have this finished. Now we're going to be highlighting the black using Vallejo German Grey, which is a very, very dark grey. You want to be doing the same kind of things you did with the lead belcher. So you're applying it to all the surfaces where it'd be catching the light, but you don't want to go too overboard with it and use it on every surface. Any just sort of edges and ridges and if there's a large flatter area, sort of about maybe half of that area. Now we're going to do one final highlight on the black using Mechanica's Standard Grey from Citadel. All you're doing with this is edge highlights. Again, if you can use it the edge of the brush rather than the point of the brush, do these. You can kind of gently slide the edge of the brush over each ridge and catch that. Sometimes it does go wrong if the edge isn't as crisp and as sharp. Some of the other ones you'll end up with a fatter line of paint on that. But if it's got a nice crisp edge, then that's probably the best way that I find I can do it. Now I'm going to start working on the red. So we're going back to Citadel Word Bearer Red. You just want to be painting each individual section. This kind of like leather strapping that they have on the handles. A little bit awkward to paint these bits and get it on the camera without it going out of focus or slightly off shot because they are very small areas. Like so. Now we're going to highlight that using Citadel Wasdaka Red. Just very, very carefully 
highlighting the very, very edges of each one of those little red sections. Making sure that you leave some of the word bearer red and also some of the Juji Violet showing there too. And that is the finished ballista. That is a great little model, great little piece of artillery. As I say, we'll come back and we'll do one of the videos for the crew in the next week. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.